Hi, Ma. So we are here um, for our life inspired um, program that I have. I'm so excited to have you here. Well, so thank excited you for to me. <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Um, so um, just tell us a little bit about yourself and um, we'll kind of go through the interview. Okay, awesome. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Ma Vu. I'm a Hmong singer and songwriter, and I'm also the president of my recording label, Yellow Diamond Records. Yeah. I'm a wife too, and yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. I had the privilege of really working with Ma and getting to know her personally, and she is just a wonderful person. I think that she has, I asked her to come on this program because I feel like she has a lot to, to teach and influence and spread um, good stuff to our folks, our audience that is going to be viewing this, that is going to be invaluable. So again, thank you uh, for coming. So can you tell us one of the most significant challenges you faced and how did you overcome that? Oh boy, uh, I think during our coaching session, there was way too many challenges, like way too many that that's why I came to Faithful Consultant because there were so many challenges I was facing, but I think the biggest one was obviously I had a tendency of not standing up for myself and not being able to just believe in my power and the value that I have that I bring to the table. So that was one of the biggest challenges and letting go of these uh, dogmas and things that would hold you back. So that was the challenge. It was a couple things, but all into one. Yes. Mm -hmm. And how have you feel when, from the time that you, you know, you started coaching or even overall in your development um, now, how have you overcome that? I, gosh, I know this is like stepping too far ahead, but when I look back on those challenges now, I just look at myself. I'm like, seriously, Ma? <laughs> like, really? You couldn't get over that? Come on. And because now it's so easy. It's so like, it's so natural now to, to know who you are, know what you believe in, know what you want for yourself, that these things, these challenges, they're just like, what is it? It's not even a challenge anymore. So looking back, just seeing that. Yeah, so tell us a little bit more about how you overcame this, like the journey of it. I definitely would say um, just recognizing these things that were holding me back. When I started recognizing the things that I tell myself to kind of, you know, I don't know why I do that. You know how you are so critical of yourself, so very self-critical. And, you know, once I started not uh, noticing and identifying these things that kept me back from my true power, what I love to do, I was just like, no, it's got to be done and over with. It has to be out of the way or else I won't be able to reach this goal. And it, it all depended on how much I wanted it to. Because if I didn't want it enough, then that way of thinking would never go away. So mm -hmm. I had to really learn to let go. And most importantly, write it all down. So journaling was a huge resource, a huge tool that I love doing. Um, gosh, like I, I just want to share with everybody that when you journal and when you look back on your first journaling post to like now, you see the incredible change your mindset went through. You see the negatives and the positives. And I think the most craziest thing was that I saw how my wishes were manifested and how they all came true. Oh, it's so crazy when I think about it. Uh, so it sounds like when you, when you were going through this hard time, right? Mm -hmm. When you were going through this hard time, can you tell us a little bit about, a little bit more about this hard time? And then you said um, there was a turning point where you kind of wanted to, you, you started to look internally to mm -hmm. find answers to, to kind of heal or to kind of like work through what was, what you were struggling with. So can you tell us a little bit about that and then that turning point for you? Yeah. So going back to my challenges, 
um, you know, with the whole not being able to say no, not believing in yourself enough, and uh, honestly, just giving yourself away, you know, just giving and giving and giving, and you don't keep anything for yourself necessarily. And when you don't receive anything back too for your energy, you, you become exhausted. So I was extremely exhausted, had too many roles, too many positions, that I was starting to lose who I was. And I cried and I didn't know who I was anymore. I'm like, who am I? What do I do? What am I doing it for? I lost my goals, my vision. And um, it was really just about diving deep and really getting rid of the things that you know, I just took on because people wanted me to take on, you know, but what did I really want? So I really had to find those within myself and in my daily behavior um, and starting to piece myself back together again. So I hope that answered your question. I, there's like a lot more, but start yeah. with that first. <laughs> yeah. So that turning point that you're talking about is really you, it, it, this situation, this, uh, you know, event, caused you to almost like oh stop mm -hmm. uh, i'm i need a break oh, yeah. i am drained mm -hmm. i don't know if i'm do why i'm doing this i'm kind of lost mm -hmm. it kind of yeah. like sparked this like i need to figure out me and mm -hmm. what i want first it sounds like that was it and then you then went internal and tell us about what that internal is Oh, geez. Um, that internal part is just really, for me, digging back into my past. Like when I was a little girl, what were the influences that caused me to have my way of thinking? Like, why do I believe that I have to be a good girl all the time, right? And so when I dug deep into my past, I realized, oh my God, it's because other people kind of filled me in on who I should be. Um, and I mean, being a good person is great, but they never taught me how to control, how to like say no. And knowing that this was caused way long ago, I knew that I had to fix this. And by practicing it, practicing how to say it to people, um, how, just what to prepare yourself when meeting these people and dealing with that like that. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So you gave us one strategy of, of looking. So kind of reflecting about connecting these patterns or connecting this back to mm -hmm. where did this come from? And then journaling and reflecting on kind of, okay, I want to make this change and making sure you journal your thoughts and, and getting awareness mm -hmm. with that. What other strategies would you recommend if someone is feeling like really lost or they're just like burnt out from whatever they're doing, their career or wherever they're at? What other strategies would you recommend? I would say what happened to me right off the bat, um, I knew that my circle of support was no longer helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, not, not because they weren't good, but it's just that, you know, this wasn't something that they had the knowledge of taking care of and helping someone through with. So right off the bat, I knew I needed to seek professional help. <laughs> and of course, I'm going to say, yeah, of course, reach out to Yingyi, reach out to a <laughs> consultant as your first tool and your resource. <laughs> and, um, you know, reach out to someone who is not on the inside, who, who can see things from the outside of, you know, the point of view here. And that was the first thing I did. And of course, um, finding a place that didn't remind me of everything I was thinking about. So I really had to take my body and get it out of like the house, my, my room, my office area. I just need to get out from that space and take myself somewhere where it wouldn't remind me of that. I, I call it my, my place, which you know where it's so, uh, the place at a, uh, at a cafe that I always go to where I sit and I journal and I, I love it. I love that atmosphere. It just makes me feel like I'm becoming more of that person that I want to be when I'm there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Lots of great strategies. I love it. Um, so, you know, I think changing physical location sometimes for me too is so important mm -hmm. when I'm like, 
uh, you know, writer's block or when I just feel like my brain is so full, I love to just go out somewhere to yeah. and get that fresh perspective and change my perspective. So mm -hmm. that's such a great strategy. Thank you so much for that. Um, so um, how does it feel to look back? You know, now that you're kind of made this journey, done a lot of personal development, <laughs> internal self uh, reflection and growing personally as a person, looking back um, at these challenges, how do you feel? And um, you kind of mentioned a little bit about it. So tell us more. Yeah. So going back to the challenges of not being able to stand up, not being able to voice myself, I look back now and I realized I could have solved a lot of these challenges and problems if I had just asked people, you know, like <laughs> ask them for help, ask them for, you know, appreciation, um, whatever it is. I, I just had to let people, the direct person know that, hey, I'm feeling like this. How can you help me? Right. Or um, I need to take a break and just letting them know and just standing your ground and not be in fear of being rejected. And I think for me, you know, I, I love helping people. I love being so helpful to people, but I also fear not being helpful, right? So I just had to be able to, I need to control that. That's so now that I look back, I'm just like, girl, seriously, like, I know you love helping people, but you got to help yourself too. So when I look back, I'm so glad that I took the steps to take care of myself because once you know, you're able to take care of yourself, then you're able to take care of other people. So mm -hmm. I'm glad that I did that. You are beaming and so super gorgeous. I know that for <laughs> sure. <laughs> what are your future aspirations and goals? Oh man, right now I, I definitely love that I've overcome these challenges and I want to be more of who I am and just more, just being more of what I have right now, you know, understanding, um, having control over your emotions, knowing who you are. I just want to continue that, continue growing, continue learning. And of course, right now, definitely want to get back on track on being the artist that I am. And I know there's a lot of hats that I wear, but the artist in me always comes back strong. And she's the diva on the stage that's always like, come on, mom. I'm ready to go. When are you ready to go? And I'm like, okay, all right, wait for me. I'm coming. So that's how I feel. <laughs> I am so super excited. I cannot wait. Um, me too. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and we're all waiting. We're all anxiously and excitedly and um, waiting. So what last words would you like to leave our audience about the challenges you are facing or any last um, resources or any last words you just want to say? I definitely want to say that don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to stand up for yourself for what you believe is right for you and trust your gut instinct. Oh my goodness, that <laughs> gut is like, it, it tells your body everything. And honestly, if it wasn't for that, I would have never been able to, you know, take control of the situation that I was in. So trust your gut and don't be afraid to ask. Um, and also don't be afraid to seek help. I, I was really scared at first because, I, you know, I was afraid that maybe people might judge me for my situations. But once I reached out, I, I was like, why did I do it earlier? Why did I wait? If anything, all this just helps you grow and become a better, stronger person, emotionally, physically, whatever you want to go with it. Uh, those, those words are just so important. Don't be afraid to ask for what you want and need. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And just that it's okay. Like it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to seek help. That mm -hmm. is so important. I hope that our viewers that view this will understand that no matter how amazing, right, we may appear, mm -hmm. and myself, right. you as an artist included, there are things that we are all going through 
that sometimes we all need each other. We need each other more yes. than we don't, right? Yes. And to love and support and uplift each other. And so don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to seek help. Don't be afraid to ask for what you need from other people. Mm -hmm. uh, so any, any, um, any events you're up to, anything <laughs> else you, you got going on? And I know oh. you're super busy. Always planning, always planning events, but if anything, um, for myself right now, uh, just focusing, focusing on my goals for myself and my music, and um, yeah, going to keep everything else in a secret though, yeah, not going to let everybody know yet. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. It's such thank an honor you. to have you on our show. I'm so grateful for you. You know I love you. I'm dear. grateful for you too, you me. Oh my goodness. Oh, and I just know the viewers are going to get so much out of this. Um, so follow YDR, follow Ma, mm -hmm. keep in touch with her. She's got, she's a leading star. <laughs> Seriously, she's oh. a star and it's just going to, I can't even, like I told her, um, cannot even imagine all the great things to come from this young artist. Uh, Thank just you. Amazing leader oh my gosh so um thank you so much everyone for viewing we're so excited to have you um here and watching our show and hopefully you get many takeaways send me any messages um any questions you have anything um that is helpful even comment below um our video and um we will try to answer all right thank you right, thank you thank you everyone Okay. Okay, give me